Well, hello everyone, Texie 88 here, and welcome to another review. And now we're taking a look at Robocop vs. The Terminator for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Developed by Interplay and, uh, and, and published by Virgin Games. Uh, came out in North America in 1993, but for some reason Europe didn't get it until 1995. So, let's have a look at it. These options, sound on, music on, stereo exit. Why would you want the sound and music off? I, never mind. Now, let's give this a whirl. John Connor was right. It was a human mind that did it. That turned Skynet from a tool into an army of Terminators. A human mind merged with software, then linked to Skynet. It was a man. A cop named Alex Murphy. Flow activates the time displacement equipment transporting her back before it all started. Back before Skynet, Terminators and the war. The woman has made it back. Make no mistakes, everything is in peril. Prepare the Terminators. Time displacement successful. First objective, find and terminate human soldier known as Flo. Second objective, find Robocop. Destroy body and force integration with Skynet. Oh, this is, this is riveting already, isn't it, guys? The first thing I've noticed is that the graphics and animation on, on Robocop are really quite nice, and the backgrounds are nice too, and there's even some... Notice how you, if you go into dark areas, uh, Robocop turns darker and get, gets into... Hmm. There's a guy in the background up, up there. Oh, he, he moved. Oh dear. But it seems like you've got unlimited ammo. But you, but you have a health meter which is near in the top middle of the screen. Ooh, that looks like another gun. Yeah, we built some of my health. So Robo can jump in this, which is handy. Ooh, extra life. So it's back at the start. Oh no, not respawning enemies. Now, one main reason I wanted to try this was because uh, it was actually given a very poor review in the now defunct magazine Superplay. But when I was looking it up, uh, up that review again, I noticed it said that, it said that there was no music. Uh, it definitely is. Of course, good job I stopped there. That guy in the background shot away that ground. Come on. Oh, God. Yeah, definitely won that. Oh, bloody hell. That guy in the background again. There's a nice touch, but it doesn't really add a tremendous amount to the proceedings. <sighs> and this really is very boring. Ooh. I just had a hunch that guy was going to do something because he was just standing in the background again. Well, that, that, that dustbin's come back. Why well, hit that? I got you that time, biatch. How did that guy take so many hits before? So you can even grab on pipes like that, which is handy. Handy. Sorry, that was a 
that wasn't that wasn't no no pun intended there. Oh, one of those guys hiding behind them. You have to actually press up to grab pipes, or we just won't do it. Nice lightning effect there. I mean, it sounds very nice, but. The sound effects are okay. Music's a bit limp, though. Well, you're jumping over barrels? Gee, I wonder where I've seen that before. Seriously, am I playing a Robocop game or a Donkey Kong game? Why am I jumping over barrels? Oh, there's that guy in the background again. Ooh. I'm presuming that was the guy in the background all that time. That's not me doing that. That's that's, um, that's effectively a cutscene. The rear window of the sedan explodes in a shower of broken glass. Scanning occupants of vehicle for identification. Increasing magnification and enhancing image. Subject within scanning range, enhancing image. Metabolic scan indicates subject is not human. Subject is of cybernetic origin. No, you monster, I'll stop you. Ma'am, you're injured, lie still. It was you. The whole world was destroyed because of you. Ma'am, that thing that shot at you was not human. You don't get it, do you? When they plug you into Skynet in a couple of years, when your mind makes Terminators possible, when your mind starts a war that wipes us all out, maybe then you'll get it. Robocop finds Flo's story hard to believe, but he knows he must go to OCP and find out if it is possible. And if Flo is right, the cyborgs in that car will be back. Detroit streets completed successfully incoming message renegade ed 209 units reported in downtown old Detroit proceed with caution yeah this is actually really really dull So makes you wonder, did they add the music after the Superplay Euro review? But bearing in mind that the Euro Europe didn't get this game until the two years after North America. 1995 versus North America's 1993, as I said earlier. Could they have added the music later after it got so badly slated, to, uh, for, amongst other reasons, for not having any... Uh, Why do you have to press up to actually grab those? Why can't you just automatically grab them? Uh, there's Ed 209. Up. Oh. Yeah, hey, I've got his gun. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Renegade Ed 209 conflict completed successfully. Incoming message. Unidentified cybernetic activity detected in Delta City construction site. Investigate. I like the way he twirls his gun and then puts it in his um, thigh holster, just like in the films. That's a nice touch. I mean, graphics, uh, graphics are really nice and so is the animation. I can't really fault those at all. Although I would prefer it if there was a bit more variety in the enemies. Just seeing the same. Oh God, that was cheap. Thank God that was there. So, I... God, you have to be standing exactly in the middle to go up that lift. If you're just a little off, it won't work. Ooh, another gun. So it looks like you can switch between the Ed Two Hundred Nine gun. Ooh, that's powered up from how it was earlier. That must be what I've just this moment picked up. Oh, for God's sake, what's with all the barrels? This isn't Donkey Kong. Oh, so I can walk across those, but I can't jump on them. 
That's one of the most original things I've seen in this game. Everything else about it is dull as dishwater. Oh, for God's sake, those damn girders. Oh, and again. Yeah, definitely want that. See, I'm just seeing the same enemies over and over again. Those women and the and the men that hide behind the corner. Apart from apart from that, apart from not counting things like gun, gun, gun in place, like the one I've just shot. It's just the same enemies all the time. That didn't seem to increase my life number. Oh, I'm glowing. Maybe I'm invincible. Yeah, that's it. I'm not taking any damage. Look at that animation. It's really good. And the detail that you saw earlier about being in the shadows. First Super Nintendo uh, game from, from the early to mid-1990s. That, that's really good. It's pretty obvious what you had to do there because you can't walk in fire. You'd think being a robot he'd be able to, but no, he can't to cope with fire. Um, let's go up here as well, let's see what's up here. Yeah, this is boring. Blooming barrels again. Oh god. This really is so boring. I just cannot get over how dull this is. I also can't get over how how unimaginative the music is. Well, I don't not so much unimaginative for them. But the the uh, I know I've heard some some weak um, you know, music samples on the Super Nintendo, but these are some of the weakest I've ever heard on it. This is the same machine that did such superb music in the Act Racer games and and Super Probotector, uh, aka Contra 3. Oh, no, I can't get up there. That's nice, isn't it? How is that for good design? Why does it have to break on your head like that? I hope it can come back on screen. Yeah, good, thank God for that. Otherwise, that would have been impossible. Okay. Respawning enemies. Yeah, and don't stand underneath it. I'll have the same problems I've just had. This is woefully boring. I mean, so it does. Have, despite what that super play a review I I looked up again said about it not having music, it does. But it's it's still bore. It's still a very boring game considering the two major licenses attached to it. Apart from the graphics and the animation, this has got absolutely nothing going for it whatsoever. Oh, I landed on that and it didn't hurt me. Okay. And I guess I'm not going to complain about that. This level's taking forever. Oh. Ooh, a Terminator. Uh. I mean, look at this. 
You can't do anything. But all you got to do is stay ducked down like this and keep pummeling him. And they didn't put any real effort into the actual gameplay, game itself, did they? Look at this. He's not even. He, but he's not even hurting me. That was the fire just then. Look at this, it's ridiculous. He can't touch me. He is powerless to do anything against me. And I'm surprised. Why did that take so long with Ed 209's gun? First Terminator encounter completed successfully. Incoming message. All OCP systems under control by unidentified cybernetic intruders. All security has been redirected to apprehend Robocop. Proceed with caution. Press start to continue. Thing is, I'm a bit also a bit worried about how far I've got on my very first go. This seems to be incredibly easy. Oh, and I'm... Okay, another bit of invi... The music is so quiet in this, it's so weak. Why are the instrument samples so, so feeble? Oh, see, I see, I don't know what that did then, I could... Oh, another, another gun there. That seems to be actually more powerful than the Ed 209 gun. Come on. God. The sound effects are okay, but the music is so bland. Oh, you'd have to stand right in the middle of those blooming lifts. Hit and I'm dead. What the hell just hit me? Oh, I can't be bothered to play this anymore. It's boring. And I've I've lost that Ed 209 gun as well. And it's gone back to the uh, the regular pistol. So that's Robocop versus the Terminator for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. One, one of the most boring um, um, license, um, Robocop games you could ever play. And it really doesn't make the greatest use of either the Robocop or Terminator license. It's just unbelievably, unforgivably dull. Graphics. They are very nice. Not, there's some nice moments where you, um, where, where things look, look lighter if you're in a, lo a lit up area compared to shadows. And bear in mind this is a Super Nintendo, and getting effects like that um, in a in a game from that early on in the, in in gaming history is quite something. And the animation silky smooth as well. Uh, not a huge amount of variety in the different kinds of enemies you can get. I've only seen two different actual, not counting bosses, I've only seen two different actual foes. Or three if you count, in fact I've seen, seen the women in two different colours of outfit. But apart from that they seem to be much the same as each other so...
nice nice other effects like lightning and things like the black flashing lights in the background that you can see there so aesthetically I can't fault I can't fault it at all in terms of visuals sound nice sound effects the music the by and large the music samples are exceptionally weak and and, uh, and quite muffled uh, com com compared to what you really ought to get in a game based on Robocop um, and Terminator. You really need to, you really need punchier music samples. These are some of the, as I said, these are some of the weakest music samples I've ever heard on the Super Nintendo. Gameplay. It's very rudimentary. There's not really anything. There's very, very little that really separates it. You've got nonsense like having to jump over barrels. I mean, it's a Robocop game and it's like you're having to be. Uh, to, and it's like you're playing Donkey Kong. Why? And also, cheap tactics like having those girders uh, fall on you uh, in, the, in the third level. But the but, but I think the main problem with the game is it's just so boring and it seems to be incredibly easy. There's gameplay wise, there's little effort put into it. It just it just feels like the gameplay is a severe afterthought. Ooh. Ooh. So the lights turn out if you leave it to idle for a long time. Mm. So no, this really isn't very good at all, and and certainly not a good use of Robocop or the Terminator. So I'm going to have to give Robocop versus the Terminator on the Super Nintendo 3 out of 10. Go on to think that um, the price of this was um, £49.95 in 1990 1990s money. That's quite a lot. God, can you imagine how gutty you would be if you spent, spent that and got a game as drab as this? So yeah, 3 out of 10 for a Robocop vs Terminator on the SNES. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another video soon. Texie88 out.